Okay, in this lesson, I'm gonna break the solo down for you into nine separate licks. Uh, we're playing uh, the solo in the key of A. It's a shuffle blues. And for the tone uh, on the recording, I'm using my 66 Super Reverb. Uh, you can see the settings here, I'll add them. And then for uh, pedal, I'm using the JHS uh, Charlie Brown, just to give it a little bit more gain and specifically kind of a JTM vibe. I think it's a cool sound with the super reverb, Fender Blackface, and then add some little bit of Marshall flavor with that Charlie Brown. Uh, the Charlie Brown works great with the overdriven amp I found, like the super reverb. To teach this lesson, I'm using the Neural DSP Tone King plugin, uh, and you can download the preset that I'm using from, uh, from the course homepage. Okay, let's go ahead and start out with lick number one is this. Okay, so for lick number one, what's happening? Uh, we're playing this little uh, power chord position I was talking about earlier in a lesson one of this course about chords. Our power chord located right here on our 14th fret of the uh, D and G strings. And you know, if you have that power chord right there, you know, I also talked about our major chord little area right here, 14th fret. Uh, now we have D, G, and uh, B string. But I'm still just sliding in on the 14th fret of the G and the B. To give me that root in our major third. We're gonna let that hang for uh, four counts. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna add some, that type of a move. Um, I just kind of did it, uh, not really thinking about it, but it's like this. Back and forth, real quick. I can't, it doesn't really sound good slow, but you got this. That type of a thing. It's a cool little sound, kind of a Derek Trucks type of a thing. Okay, so for the next little section, I'm doing this. So that's a Dwayne Allman type thing, uh, reminiscent of a harmonica. I'm sliding up in to the 14th fret of the D string, and then right backwards to that 12th fret on the G string, that's our flat seven interval. Just classic Dwayne Allman move. Then back to here, 14, 14. And then sliding in 13 to 14 on the uh, minor third, major third right here. Letting it gradually just slide down. Now this little phrase. Add vibrato. And so you can check out the muting of what I'm doing. Uh, kind of just randomly mute and uh, do first or second finger. It's up to you if you like to use your first finger to strike or second finger to strike uh, on the higher strings, the G and the B. So for this, I'm using my uh, first and second finger. Now thumb for this, first finger. But sometimes I will rotate it and do second finger instead of first finger there. Oh, thumb first. Second finger there. Again, if you're confused about the muting stuff, uh, watch this hand. Also refer back to slide techniques uh, that gives you uh, exactly how I go about thinking of muting all these type strings. Okay, so that's it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, for lick number two, we're moving to the four chord, the D chord. Uh, that's a D major chord. You'll find right here on the seventh uh, fret D, G, B strings. And then I'm just raking with my second finger, striking it, raking of course with my thumb, sliding into the major third of our D chord, seventh fret of the B string. Letting it just gradually slide down. Then striking seven, seven on D, 
uh, and then our G string. Now we have this phrase, uh, and this little part I'm thinking of playing our D major little position I talked about earlier in the course. Now we're back to switch um, back to the A chord, the one chord. So I'm thinking of my mindset switching back to a, a different power chord position right here on the seventh fret A and D strings. I'm doing this. <laughs> All that stuff I talked about, all the exercises I talked about in the course, uh, you know, is where that is coming from. That same backwards flat seven interval slide Dwayne Allman thing. And then our minor third, major third. Uh, just a classic, you know, slide guitar kind of stuff. Emphasizing that major third and minor third, the Dwayne Allman slide backs and uh, using some raking, a little bit of Derek Trucks style. Uh, so lots of cool things to take away from Lick 2. Okay, Lick 3 sounds like this. Okay, so for uh, lick number three, uh, we're following the chord. We're going to the five chord, the E chord. So I'm playing the E major chord here on the D, G, and the B string. As talked about previously in the course. And you can just kind of strike uh, those strings in the D, G, and B. And then when you get to the ninth fret, hit the B string. I'm using my second finger letting these ring out a quick slide back to eight and back to nine now the same basically the same thing in d just seventh right here and having some vibrato now i'm going to uh, stop all the strings from ringing and slide into that tenth fret right here adding a rake that's my A note. And so I know the E chord is coming back, back around the turnaround section. So I'm going to think about playing to that E chord right there. We're playing 10, 10 to 8, that second position minor pentatonic. Now I'm thinking about E major chord position here. Now sliding 8 to 9. That's a major E major chord here. That's why that works. So just kind of following the chords, as I talked about previously, uh, using uh, the chords to uh, solo over, you know, uh, makes it easy to play notes side by side when uh, playing standard tuning. Okay, that's it for lick three.